Setting up categories and groups within activities is likely to be one of the first things you'll do with activities. This is where you specify broad level groups for all the various activities that take place in the school. The interface is quite straightforward. Categories are listed here on the left and can be ordered by dragging them up and down with the hamburger icon. This will affect the order in which users will see them when in the activities module. On the right, you'll find the options to create new categories, edit them and remove them. Let's take a look at the options provided when we create a new category. First, you can give your category a name. These options here specify some basic and important details about the category. The type specifies whether it's an excursion, academic, or simply labeled as an activity. The default cycle specifies when this activity will occur. For example, a sports carnival may be an annual activity. The approval workflow allows you to specify how the activity will get approved. And you can see here that there are several options for that already. There's also a separate video explaining how that process works. Let's cancel back out of that and take a closer look at a category that is already set up. Let's look at the excursions category by clicking edit. In the top section, you can see some of the details we just talked about. But notice also that you can specify the amount of points a student can be awarded for any one activity in this category. In addition, you can specify how many points a student can achieve from participating in activities within this category. And this option allows you to specify a coordinator for the category. You can choose to save at this point, but the next part of categories is shown below, and that's the option to create groups within a category. Adding a group is simple. Enter the name and click Add. Notice here that there are some groups listed already. Now, you can add as many categories and groups as you like, but remember you don't need to create groups within each category. Some activities may be so significant that they form a category on their own. An example might be this one here, International Trips. It's currently a group within excursions, but it could also be its own category. It just depends on how your school wants to set things up.